hello 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 everyone thank you for tuning in i am jay lee this is jay lee's corner this is some kind of review i don't know which one y'all can see the title what it is okay but first things first like if you have not done so already please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and look at my whole jay bird jay bird dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff Mm, send to yourself send to yourself okay okay do not forget that you can also like this video because it helps youtube share it so hit the like button okay you can share the video on your social media and also comment in the comment section below okay you can follow me on um ig and on twitter okay at j underscore leaves underscore corner if it's not on the screen somewhere it is in the description box below just hit the description box and get all the information you want okay okay hey y'all yep i'm back and everything same little house dress don't judge me all my clothes is packed up okay nine days and count till i move anyway let's get into the 90 day fiance season four episode seven okay i haven't combed my hair either so don't judge me so first up we have um, Erica and Stephanie, okay, as I would like to call them the faux lesbians. Erica's a lesbian, okay, let's get that straight. But Stephanie, not so much. Okay, so we see that, you know, she only been there two days. She's been there two days and everything. And Stephanie says, you know, I hope my sexy online persona, you know, with me being open to this and open to that online, and that's what I showed Erica, I hope that that doesn't make her think that I'm ready to do anything sexual. No, why would your girlfriend who you was online being sexy with assume that you want to to have sex with her when you flew across the world to see her? Why would she think that? Anyway, you know, Erica then takes her to a little date. Okay, and we're today too. The date is to a booby molding class. Yep, you know how people get their bellies casted or whatever. You know, for for when they're pregnant or whatever, it's the same thing except for the boobs. Okay, and so Erica, like you know, well, online Stephanie seemed very sexual, very open to different things or whatever. So I, I think she would like this class. The class is not even really sexual you know it's just you take your top off and you mold your boobs it's not that big of a deal if you ask me anyway but stephanie looks mortified okay and it was two other people the two other girls and then the teacher take your top off you know put the mold stuff on your boobs or whatever let it dry up and then your boobs are molded and you you know decorate your boob because you get the tease and everything so again erica felt like you know it should be fun yay and stephanie is Mortified. You wonder why? Because Stephanie is not bisexual. Stephanie is not lesbian. Stephanie don't like vagina. She doesn't. She wanted to be on TV. She wanted to be on TV. Anyway, you know, it's weird because I'm like, that would be a good, you know, date to go on with your person if 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 they've seen sexual in nature about things. To me, that would have been fun. Anyway, so. Stephanie does it, but she you can tell she's uncomfortable, okay? But, you know, they sitting there, whatever, and they painting the tits or whatever and chatting. And then they're talking to the two girls. They're like, oh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from New York, blah, blah, blah. We're a long-distance thing or whatever. But we won't be long-distance for long. We won't last long-distance. Eric was like... What that mean? What do you mean? Well, you know what? Well, you know because you're gonna move to you know New York, and so Erica feel like I feel like she's rushing me to move to New York when she here and she won't even have sex with me. Like I don't get it. How you know? In one breath you want me to move to America, but on the other hand you don't feel comfortable enough with me to have sex with me. Why would I move to a different country for a person who I haven't even suited with yet? That's that's not how it works. I, I trust me, I believe you. You know. So then they go out. On another date, you know, so that date is over. It's kind of weird or whatever. They get back to the house. And so now, Stephanie wants to take Erica on a date. Okay, that's nice, fair share. So, Stephanie brings up how she saw something in Erica's phone that she didn't like. And she wants to dress it at dinner. I'm like, okay. Now, she also gave Erica a nice little tiara to wear. Because she's like, I want you to be treated like a princess today on this little date. I'm taking you somewhere special. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be it was cute little, little you know, headband or whatever. And then, you know, 
act like, you know, I think it's great or whatever. I think, you know, it's just weird because I think, you know, I thought she would have liked the titty plastering date or whatever because of how she was on last time. I'm, I'm starting to feel like maybe we have to learn more about each other because maybe who I thought I knew, that ain't really who she is, okay? Because, again, she's just so different in person. I'm my girl, don't... That's very, very true. So, they had dinner sitting around laughing and smiling for about 10 seconds or whatever. Then, awkward silence, okay? So, Erica, you know, you showed me something on your phone the other day. And I noticed you have a dating app on your phone. She's like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, I do. Well, you know, have you been dating other people on the app, you know, the past four months we've been a couple? She's like, no, I just have it because, like, it's other, like, business stuff I can do with the app. So, you know, that's just kind of why it's on my phone. So, that's Stephanie then asked her to delete it. Can, well, can you delete the app? Yeah, I need you to, to delete the app. And you can tell Erica's looking like, this is stupid. Like, you won't bang me, you know, I, you didn't want me to fill on your boobies or whatever, but you are concerned with me having a dating nap on my phone, you know? And she's like, well, you know, okay, I'll delete it because you asked me to, it's fine, fine, fine. And then there's tension, you know what I'm saying? You don't want me to, you know, do this and do that or whatever, but you don't want me to have a dating nap. It was just weirdness all around, okay? And so at this point in time, you, you can't buy me stuff, Stephanie, and then assume that you can control me, okay? You can't do that. I told y'all, these Two folded, well, well, no, no, no. One folded thing in the real bisexual was gonna be fussing. Only thing missing is that I throw no dildos. Okay, anyway, so at this point in time, Stephanie crying, You don't know me at all. All this time, I thought you knew me. It's like you're showing your true colors. And the air get pissed, takes the headband, look, thank God. You know what? You can't buy me. And then she walks away. I'm like, Four lesbians, powers activate. Girl, they're not going to make it. Because, again, I think that Stephanie is here for TV. I think Stephanie is not a real bisexual. I don't think Stephanie wants to bang anybody's vagina. I think she's here for a story that she can then put on her online stuff and say, I was on a day fiancé, and this is my story. That's why she did it, okay? And let's move on. Okay, next we have Avery and Ash. Moving right along. Okay, we then have Yolanda or Yolanda. Yolanda and Williams. I might like, look. I'm going to keep her picture up just because, I, you know, it's it's the whole catfish thing. And I like her haircut, even a little gel down sides to make her hair look, you know, wiggly or whatever. So, she still wants to fly to England. To meet this Williams man. I'm like, first of all, ma'am, you need to fly to Nigeria. Because if you want to meet Williams, you can't fly to, to, to London or to England. You have to fly to Nigeria. Because he, he's Nigerian. Okay? Trust and believe. Anyway, her and her daughter's out and about shopping and whatever. And they sitting around chit-chatting, okay? Now, the daughter thinks my mom is being catfish. I think my mom is being catfish. And she just don't know it. I'm not kidding. She, if your mama getting catfish, it's your fault. Because you should teach your mama better than that, okay? Just saying. Anyway, the daughter does like a little Google search, okay? Because of the name that uh, Williams gave her. So, she's, she's, they bleeped out the names. I don't know what it was. But, you know, she Google search it, and it comes back as, like, some stuff in Nigeria. Okay, like a school in, in Nigeria, whatever. And so, she then searches the phone number, okay? It's a Nigerian phone number. I'm like, <sighs> I just feel like Michael going to answer the phone. or It's just weird, okay? At this point in time, I, I can't believe this. Mama called the number. Caught, so they call the number and the female answers, but she answers and then instantly hangs back up. I feel like he is a scam, okay? It's a whole scam. And once they realize that's an American number, you know, hang up real quick. Don't say nothing. Hang up. It's a whole scam, but I digress. She like, I can't believe this. I don't. He can't be not, uh -uh, I don't believe this. Mama, you need to ask him if he's Nigerian. I'm like, first of all, that's a weird question to ask someone. But it's a good question to ask Woods because Williams is Nigerian, okay? I don't, but you know, he's always been so nice and respectable. I can't, nice and respectable don't mean he ain't lying. It just means he don't yell at you, okay? It's just kind of crazy. So, you know, I, what if it's the British, what if the British people hacked Williams' information or whatever, because it's really, but the British people hacked it, 
Okay. Um, and what is it's it's it's, it's it can't and because I love him. We were talking. I'm like, well, she coming up with every reason as to why Williams has not tricked her and 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 catfished her and led her astray. Hood went to bamboozle. Cause that's what's going on around here. Okay. Because it's I know what it has to be him. It's not. Is not leave it be. So we then see like it's like four days later. She's been calling and texting. He's not responding. She texts him saying, "You know, are you not? Are you Nigerian, baby?" He don't respond. Why are you not answering me? He don't respond. She's reaching out and he's not returning her calls. Okay, and so it's like a few days later that he's still not calling her back. He's still not returning her answering the phones or whatever. And she gets an email for some email address or whatever that's telling her they have you know compromised and photos of her okay some intimate nude photos of her and that unless she pays them whatever amount of money they're gonna release them i'm like release them send them out the air who send them to whoever i don't care is what i would have said because first of all when she then said i've only ever sent nude photos to williams but he wouldn't do this this can't be him that's not his email address. Someone must have hacked his account and got his... No. No, honey. It's him. You look. It's so sad because she's like, it can't be him. Someone must have hacked him. No, you mean to tell me the man who you met, who you have never seen on video, who you then sent nude fo- Who's? Who, you should never send nude photos to anyone especially someone you have never seen either one in person or have never seen in a clear bright uh lit room even if it's on facetime whatever you have not seen this person and know who they are you do not send them new photos you damn sure don't send them new photos with your face in the picture to avoid what getting blackmail because if you have pictures of me from the neck down send them out you can't prove to my nipples, okay? I'm just saying it's just kind of crazy. And so I, I don't. He would not do. I cannot believe if if he did this, I would not know what to do. Girl, it's him. I, it's him. Let it go, okay? okay. Now we have Ed and Rose. Oh God, y'all know I don't like Ed. I just do not like Ed, okay? Now they have went back to the hotel at this point in time or whatever, and he tells her I want to treat you like a queen, okay? Like a whole queen, okay? So he said, you know, take the robe and these slippers or whatever, you know, you can go take a hot bath and then come back in the room. And she said, okay, I also brought pajamas this time. So she had the pajamas he bought her from earlier. So he's, you know, ordered some champagne. He had a little massage oil out. I want to show her my romantic side. So, you know, because I haven't had sex in forever, you know, and maybe we could have sex. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I, I don't care. So, you know, he, that's just nasty. Ed is weird. And not because he's short. And not, he's just, he's a weird person in, in this in general, whatever. You know, she come out, oh, you look great. Okay, okay, sit down here. Okay, sit down right here. Okay, okay. Now, oh, open your robe up. I'm like, you're being weird. You're being weird. Stop it. So, she shows him her little pajamas or whatever. Oh, you look so nice. Okay, now sit down. So, then he gets the massage or he's rubbing her feet. But he's looking up at her. I'm looking like, and just, I'm just, I feel so uncomfortable. You're my queen, right? He's, she's like, yes, I'm your queen. So if you're my queen, then who am I? And she, he wanted her to say that he's king. And she's like, you're my queen? He's like, no, 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 no. If you're the queen, then who am I? Oh, you're the king? Yes, I'm your king. Oh. It just made my skin crawl, but I digress, okay? So he's rubbing her feet and he's looking up at her and it's just weird, 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 weird or whatever. He then said, how do you say kiss in your language? And she said, you know what I'm saying, whatever the word is. He said, can I kiss you in her language or whatever and she's like right here and he's like no she's like right here he's like no she's like right here and he's like no like in the middle and she was like you know let's do here first and he kissed on the cheek whatever it was just weird and but then he said well no like can i kiss you on your lips and so they did a quick little peck and then he laughs and she laughs because she's like damn i really have 
to have sex with him to get to America, you know, and they were laughing a little bit. It was a real awkward ass. I didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway. And he brings up how it's been 28 years since he's felt the love of a woman, okay? And just to be around a woman, okay? And he misses it. And I'm like, okay, if you say so. So we then see the following morning after. And then I'm like, oh, so Rose, what happened last night? Oh, you know, we went to bed and went to sleep. But she's laughing. And they're like, no, come on, what really happened? And she's like, I don't want to tell you. No, I don't want to tell you. We know. We understand, okay? Ed, on the other hand, is saying, we made love last night. I think it was the wine. Like, we were drinking the wine, and then all of a sudden, we made love. I'm like, <sighs> okay. So, you know, he's happy. She's like, whatever. You know, he then say, you know... I wanted to, to, to mention something to you, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know your legs like my legs, your, your legs are hairy. He say he think hairy legs is unattractive. Well, I mean, Ed, just shut up. So he tells her that he wants, he asks her, you know, can you shave your legs? And she's like, what? Why? You know, your face is hairy. Because she then says how his face is hairy and it's, it hurts her face. So when he was doing whatever he was doing her last night, the, the, the beard was scratching her up. So she said, well, I'll, you know, you can shave your face. He's like, well, okay, if, if you shave your legs, I'll shave my face. And so she was like, no, really? And he was like, well, yeah. So then she went to the bathroom and shaved her legs. And then he shaved his face. Where's the picture I had of him? Um, Here it is. <sighs> there he is. I feel like Ed wears a beard because Ed with no beard looks like he snatches up children from the park in a van. Okay, it's just kind of weird. Anyway, I just, it's just, uh, okay. So, you know, now he has a bare face and she has the bare legs. But I do feel like he keeps his beard just because, again, he doesn't want to look like a, whole, a kid snatcher. Um, So, they drive to her little village okay and again she she's it's like a little poor town or whatever and as they're driving over he's like wow i was getting reared oh, okay this is this is your neighborhood this is where you grew up she's like yeah it is a poor little town like where the houses don't really have doors you know what i'm saying and he's like it's like a third world country yes Yes, it is. You you know you should have known that beforehand or whatever. And then it's like it's just weird. And as he sees the neighborhood, like you know, well, damn it, I can't you know now say I'm not gonna stay at her house because her family is expecting me. But I just don't know what I've gotten myself into. You know, she says she does not have air conditioning, but she has a fan. I have a fan, you know, I can protect you from mosquitoes, but again, it's, it's going to be a tough night, okay? Now, they do get to the village or whatever, he meets her son, who calls him daddy. I'm looking like that is so weird, because that's not his daddy. Um, He meets the sister, you know, who says, he's shorter than me, and he's also fat. And I say, okay. Okay, she then meets, uh, he then meets her other sister, her brother-in-law, her mom, and then her her dad as well, okay? And so they all chit-chat. Now, in the house... Of course, it doesn't have a door. When you walk in, um, it's like just um, like CD covers, like drapes, okay. And there was some sheets along the bricks of the walls, but it's just a whole. It's like bricks built up as a shelter. There's no ceiling really like that or whatever, or no windows, okay. It's just it's it is what it is, okay. And so he's like, wow, okay, yeah. I guess I have to say, yes, you do. Now, the father then asked him, I just want to know what your intentions with my daughter. Well, you know, I want to get to know her and then see where it goes from there or whatever. But I'm not about any games. Like, I'm, I'm not about any games. And so, they then sit down and eat. But he was thirsty because, again, it was hot. So, he was sweating like crazy. Um, it was like a little chicken walking around. I was like, where did the chicken come from? Like, why? Is, it's, it's a random Chicken is walking around the table. I said, girl, I, I maybe it's going to be, you know, lunch later. I don't know. So, he then she says, you know, seeing how she lives and how really, really poor it is, he wonders, am I her meal ticket out of the Philippines? Yes. Yes. The, you, yes. And my thing is for him to say, I, I just wonder. It doesn't matter. You went looking for... No one looks for a young woman in the Philippines and assumes she has this great, stable life. That's not how it is. That's a very, that's not typical. That's not, so it, it, it pisses me off when these dudes 
you know, meet someone over there and then assumes, oh, they just, I'm a, I'm a meal ticket. Yes, you wanted a beautiful woman and you went to the Philippines to find one. Take what you get. Okay, I digress. Anyway, you knew where she lived when you met her. Okay? Gay. Oh, asshole. Um, we also have Jeffrey and Varya, okay? Now, you know, he's been there for a week. I was thirsty. So, he's been there for a week. And now they're going over to meet her her mom who lives in Siberia, okay? Now, I'm like, okay. It's like a five-hour flight for them to get over there. And she brings up how her mom doesn't really want her to marry him and move to the States. Because, like, you know, she just doesn't want her daughter to be so far away. But I digress. So we see them on the plane flying over. They do a little video in the bathroom on the plane saying, oh yeah, we're a part of the Mile High Club. Now I'm like, that's nasty. But you can easily be a part of the Mile High Club, you know, in different ways on a plane. But I'm like, it's just still nasty. Anyway, you know, she brings about her mom should get some kind of gift, okay? So, she's asking him, like, what gift did you bring for my mom? You know, he's like, I, I, I didn't bring anything. He, she's like, you, you know, you would need to get her something because she may not like it if you don't bring her some kind of token of, you know, whatever. He then says, okay, we'll pull over on the side of the road. They had a car pull over on the side of the road. He kind of goes to the grassy field and just starts picking flowers from the grass, Okay. Anyway, she's like, I, you know, I hope my mom doesn't, you know, mind this because I will not marry a man that my mom's not okay with. I'm like, I don't think your mom gonna like this man after he she found out your, your man is a whole felon. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? They get to mom's house. The mom seems like a nice lady. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, did you guys steal these flowers from the schoolyard? Basically. Basically, they did, okay? But, you know, he comes in. The mom seems pretty nice and everything. You know, they're sitting around cooking food and talking and chit-chatting or whatever. And so, the mom says, you know, he seems nice. You know, I'm just worried about her being so far away, okay? Because it's easy to be on, like, a little video chat and smile even if things are terrible. But if things are terrible, I can't, I won't know that because she's so far away. So, that's my only, you know, question about what's going on. So, as they talking or whatever, the mom was like, you know, well, can I trust you? Like, you know, are you, can I trust you with my daughter? He's like, you know, yeah, you can. He's lying. Okay. He's a liar because he still has not told Varya about his criminal history. And my thing is, you are still consistently lying when you know there's something that she does not know about you that she needs to. Okay. Because you still, like, has stuff pending. Okay, so we know that he really cannot be trusted, okay? Those, his eyes look like those of a killer. Don't trust them. Anyway, we then have Darcy and Tom have dinner, finally. Okay, finally, it has happened to me right in front. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm tired. Anyway, so they have weird, like, little idle chit-chat when she first sits down, you know, she comes in, you know, oh, I, I don't want to hug her kiss, you know, hand, hand, just, 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 I, a handshake is fine. So, it's, it starts off rocky, okay, it starts off rocky. You know, they had, like, a little idle chit-chat. She then said, you know, thank you for the birthday text. <laughs> He's like, oh, you know, I guess that, you know, wasn't a lot, huh? She's like, no, but you said that you would call me or, or video chat me. You didn't or whatever, and I, and I waited all day. But it's fine. And he's like, you know, what happened with us? And she's like, well, you know, you shut down. Like, we came back or whatever, and you shut down. I'm always wondering, like, what's going on between us and whatnot. It was he said, my intention, Darcy, my intention was never to hurt you. I was never trying to. To hurt you. You know, we were friends for years. You know what I'm saying? You were this lovely woman. I knew. Oh, I, I was lovely. I was lovely. Really, Tom? Why can't I talk? Okay? Why can you let me talk for a second? Okay? You always cut me off. I just don't know why you do that or whatever. You know, he's like, you know, I feel at times you're not there for me. You know what I'm saying? You be so consumed with things <clears throat> going on with you that you don't realize that I be trying to talk to you about things that go on me. And I thought like you always cut me off or whatever. And, you know, I just, you always cut me off saying that you're not doing whatever I'm complaining about you doing, okay? And it's like, well, you know, don't you have something to tell me, Tom? 
What? What is that? Don't you have something to tell me? It's okay. You can tell me, okay? And he's like, what? Tom. Tom. I know about your new girl. He's like, oh. You know, well, yeah, she's from three weeks ago. Oh, okay. And he then said, I met Shannon and Mulan doing, you know, fashion week or whatever. And, and I didn't tell Darcy because I was just, I was so confused. And I'm like, you a goddamn gonna lie. You know, he then said, Darcy, you know, I, I met someone three weeks ago. You know, And she loves me the way I want to be loved, okay? And she's like, you know, that hurts, Tom. That really hurts, okay? Um, he then brings up, you know, well, it was hard, Dorothy. It was hard for me to always hear you talk about Jesse. Okay, you were always talking about Jesse. And it got to a point where I, I loved you, but in a different way. I loved you like, like a sister. She's like, oh, well, thanks for telling me that after we had sex. Okay, ew, that's nasty. He's like, no, you know, I just mean like that's, you know, you would just can talk so much about, you know, your ex or whatever. It, the, the love changed. I'm like... But, Tom, you just said before y'all was talking that you really loved her. and she doesn't get it. But now you said that you love her like your sister? Now, we did not like your sister, okay, at all. We did not like her. So, I, boy, boy, bye, okay? She's like, you know what? I just, I just can't, I just can't leave you, I just, I just can't leave you, Tom. Like, you know what, Darcy, you know, Darcy, I want to stay friends, you know, I want to stay friends after this. She's like, no, you know, we should both just move on, have nothing to do with each other, whatever, and go off support. like, you know, we should not be friends, like, you mean nothing to me, Tom, nothing. I'm like, come on, Darcy, let him know that he ain't shit, and don't cry, Darcy, don't you dare cry, okay? And he's like, you know what? Waiter, I'm gonna get the check. Okay, I'm gonna pay for his coffee. He's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? That's fine, you know. Just don't ruin the next one. I'm looking like, don't ruin the next one. He's like, whatever, Tom, whatever. You know, I have bigger and better coming my way. He says, oh, okay. And she's like, going our purse, whatever. He then asked her, so you put on some weight? I said, this motherfucker here. And she was like, what? He's like, oh. He wouldn't repeat it because he know that was a bullsh- ass thing to say to her. Darcy's face looks fine on on here. She looked fine. You know, her face didn't look this way. Whatever work she had done had settled by the time she went to this this, this dinner or whatever. And so she was like, you know what, whatever. Gets up and walks away, you know, and says, you know, have a good life, Tom. Well, I will now that you're not in it. I'm looking like, now that she's not in it, no. He... Put a Jesse, and she said he put a Jesse. But I'm proud because she walked away. She didn't cry. She didn't have a fit. She realized he was trying to. He was trying his best to gaslight Darcy. And for the first time, for the first time, Darcy, she did not allow herself to go off the deep end. Okay, she she got up and walked out with her head held high, with her head held high, and she was fine. Now she gonna cry in the car. But, I mean, Tom ain't shit. Like, he ain't shit at all. Tom realized Darcy wasn't going to beg him or be with him or sleep with him one last time. You know, she knew what he had been doing and he no longer had the upper hand. I think he felt like because she wasn't following him on social media that he, I guess, he assumed she didn't know. But she did. And she, they just get on my damn nerve. And I'm happy that Darcy, you know what I'm saying, just grew some balls and was like, fuck you, Tom. You. Okay, and last but not least, Lisa and Usman. <sighs> so Lisa says that Usman left like 30 minutes ago. You know, he said that he was going to walk his friend out. He then went outside or whatever and just didn't come back. She went outside to look for him after a few minutes and he was gone. And again, that was 30 minutes ago. We then see 20 minutes later, he walks in. Okay, he walks in, you know. I was I was scared, Usman. I was scared. Where have you you told me you would never leave me, Usman, and you left me here alone. Okay, alone, Usman. You left me here alone, and I was afraid. Okay, and he's like, so I couldn't go with my friend. I could not walk him to. I was gonna walk him to, and he like you did not. I said I was seeing him out. We was still. I was taking him to where, you know, out. I don't know where he went, but it, I digress. But his thing was, what you fussing for? Why is it an issue for? Okay, he he had been gone 
at this point in time, less than an hour, you know, a little less than an hour, whatever. And but you promise to never leave me alone. At this point in time, he's going off. He's fed up. Okay, he's fed up and he's over. You know, he's like, you know what? You cannot always be right. Okay, you know, um, you need to understand. Okay, that you are not God. Okay, you are not God. Okay, you. I should not ever always say I am sorry to you. Okay, you. I cannot be wrong all the time, baby Lisa. Okay, that is not how it goes. That is not possible. And she's sitting there. She's shocked that he's just giving it to her. Like, he's not being rude. He's not being disrespectful. He's being stern and saying, you keep fucking with me. You keep complaining every day about something. Saying, I, I would not live like this, okay? I would not put myself in a prison for you, okay? I would not do that, okay? Because if I am always saying, I'm sorry, that is like a prison. I will not be in prison for you, Lisa. I will not do that, okay? If that is how, we, if you want to live that way, if we if we have problems every day, okay? Every day there's a problem, okay, about this or about that. I will not do that. I will not live that way. So, if you want to live that way, we are con always having problems. You go your way and I'll go mine. Okay? And he gets up, puts on his sliding in shoes, his little flip flops thing, thing, and he walks out and he leaves. And she's just sitting there looking like, She's short, okay. She's short about it all. I'm my girl, but anyway, you know, I just he is not the man I found. That's not who I fell in love with because he stood up to you. He's he got tired of your bullshit and told you about yourself, okay. Now, eventually. He does come back in the house or whatever, but he's like in the, in the front room or whatever, and she's in the back room and not really talking. So he's then talking to the camera crew or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just always an issue. You know, she, it's like she always thinks she's right, and that's just not fair, okay? That's not how it should go. Um, I don't want to sacrifice too much, okay, to go to America to be famous. And, you know, she's just too bossy, okay? She's just too bossy, she, she, she's too bossy, okay? She then came in, well, what do you want to do, okay? Do you want to, what, what do you want to end this? He's like, look, I will not fight with you, okay, I have never, I have never disrespected you, okay, in the two years, okay, in the two years that we, <laughs> in the two years we have been in a relationship, I have never been, you know, rude to you, but you, no, 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 you all, you call me names, okay, you are rude, okay, and I have never get back with you, okay, I, I, I put up with it all, okay, um, <laughs> the voice, you know, and you are that bad here. If you are that bad here in Nigeria, how would it be when I get to America, okay? How would it go then, okay? When I have no mother or no father or no friends, okay, to go to, how would I would have no one to run to? How would that happen, okay? What can I do then? I don't want to do that, okay? She then said, you are insecure in our <laughs> relationship. That is true, okay? That is true because of you, okay? Because of your actions, Lisa, okay? I will not live this way. No, okay, no, I'm not, come on now, you know what, Usman, I haven't had a good night's sleep, I'm in a different country, it's a different time zone, that's why I've been irrational, I'm like, you gonna blame it on everything except yourself, girl, fuck about you know what I'm saying, he says that we ought to get married, we have to fix these issues, we have to fix these problems, okay, and I'm like a hand clap for Usman, because he stood up for himself. I still feel like he should not marry her. I still feel like he should not marry her at all. But I'm happy that he stood up to her and then let her just keep being an asshole, okay? He put her in check based on her behavior and said, I'm not putting up that bullshit. Leave me be. Now they hugged and kissed by the end of it or whatever, but she realized she can't keep acting that way. Period. Okay? And that's how I went off. I'm like, girl... Go ahead, Usman. Anyway, I'm done for today. Talk to y'all later. Peace.